jumping right into training camp right now, take us through what it's like at the moment. How different is camp now versus what it was before the pandemic? Um, it's definitely a little bit different. Um, everybody's wearing masks. It's kind of a little awkward in meetings, uh, trying to hear the coaches and hear everybody uh, speak their piece and get the message across. So it's just, um, it's different in that regard and it's keeping your distance from everybody in the facility. But for the most part, it's uh, once you get on the football field, I mean, it's it's the same game that you've been playing. And um, and because the, the trainers and everybody have done such an unbelievable job of keeping the environment safe and, uh, and, and, and staying on top of, you know what I mean, the COVID spreading around in the facility, um, because they've done such a great job with that, it makes you feel comfortable being in the environment. Given the fact that there's no preseason games, are you guys confident you'll be ready for kickoff with it only being a month away? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, once you you can't you can't change the feeling you get going into game day. I mean, I I feel like we got great players, great character, uh, guys that are that are working their tails off right now. So that would come day come game day, uh, you know that first Thursday game against the Houston Texans, um, we'll be ready for that for sure. Obviously, as a vet, I'm sure you're more than okay with the cancellation of preseason football. And say every team is prepared for the start of the season the way you guys are preparing now. Do you think we should have a preseason games in the future? Um, you know, that's uh, I, I, I see the need for it, and I appreciate the need for it uh, for especially for younger guys trying to make the team to keep to have four of them. I think is a bit much to have two. I think it's reasonable. Before things were really set in place, I want to know what made you feel comfortable playing this year? Did you ever consider opting out before the regulations were really set in place? Um, I mean, you have to think about it. You have to think about the worst case scenario. And um, you know what? It's uh, at the end of the day, I think that the NFLPA and, and the NFL have done an unbelievable job of of having every team meet a certain mandate and, and, and abide by all the rules that, that we have set in place for a safe environment and a safe season of football. And uh, because I, I heard of what was going on and, and I, and I, you know, I, I just, I knew that Kansas city was going to do its job. And if Kansas city is doing its job, everybody in the league um, is, uh, is going up and has to give measure to that same standard. So it's just, um, it's having faith and trust that uh, everybody's going to be accountable and and moving on from there. But I think that uh, I think we're going to have some fun playing football this year. Hopefully, we get the fans out there sooner than we think. But um, if if it's a few games where where we miss the fans, you know, uh, we'll just go out there and play our tails off for you.